I've got it running now. Now don't go for a swim there, Tony. It's yep. okay, Tony. Put your, put your hand in here. So just to figure this out, my task is to wash the fish. Yeah. Or did you say make the fish? Right. This is part of the process of making the fish. This is one of the steps. Put your hand in there and feel it. What? <laughs> 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 what all those excited people. What, what, are just <laughs> uh, what, what is this? Is, is this a This is salt. Feel the salt. This is all salt. Yeah. Like, salt. Okay. Smell it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then in here should be a fish somewhere. It's in here. It's under here. I'm moving around for you. That's salt. Yeah. So I'm moving around for you. Oh, you have a big heavy one. All right. This is a big heavy one. Back up, man. This is a fish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels really flat. It's been cut. It is. It's been, it's been cut. Now, I'm going oh. to yeah, show you where its tail is. It's down here. Like there. You're going to grab it here by, by there. His tail? Right there. What's yeah. this here? Is this a this is part of the head. It's been split, so this is where the head would be. See, it's been split. Oh, because it got cut. There's the head. Yeah, backwards. the head's been split off. See? Yeah. But it, it, it's thinner because it also got cut uh, here. From like, the belly. Yeah. So this is like the sides. Yeah. So this, this, is, is, this is the inside of the fish. This, right. This is the inside of the fish. And that's just, that's just, that's the bottom over. side right there. This is the skin side. That's the bottom. Yes. Got it. Okay. okay. So off to the barrel we go. Off to the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Just drop him in. Well, swish it around. Put it in. You gotta keep it. Yeah. There you go. Alright. And now what do I do? You're gonna try swish it around. You gotta get it really, you even gotta get that tail down under there too. Right. Yeah. Just go for broke my hands in. Okay. Yeah, put your hands in. So the, the fish is in the salt because it preserves it, it keeps it dry. Well, the fish, is, yeah, the, the, the salt helps draw the water out. Okay. And that's the first step. And so then we're going to start drying it, and then we're going to dry it and salt it. But why dry are we, why are we wetting it then drying it? Because there's, there's like this slud that forms. If you get really close, can you see this? I know you can't. Okay. Can I feel it? <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell the the side. Of, you might be able to feel it. Yeah. Feel Where? It right here. I'll use my right hand. I can feel better. Can you? Watch it. There's the, like this slub on here. Yeah. What's that salt? It's it's like this organic slime that fish have on them. That protective layer of slime that fish have on them. Yeah. Uh, it, it draws it out and it draws what out. It, it gets drawn out when you put that salt on there, uh -huh. and you want to get that off because it it just. Okay detracts from the quality of the fish. Can you guys see that? See that stuff right there? Look. Can you I feel, see that? Yeah. Where? I feel fish flesh. Oh, yeah, this stuff. It's like this stuff here. Yeah, it's like kind of... It's like kind of slipperier. Yeah, it's in, in places you feel it's more slippery, yeah. right? Yeah, that's that slub. We, and there's, some, there's a lot more right there. Yes, and that so that's what we want to scrub off when we're... Uh, I can actually scrape it with my nail. Do you see it kind of flaking off when I scrape it with my nail? And you feel it as being slippery. Yeah. That it's more nice. slippery in places, right? Yeah. And you guys can see it flaking off right when you're scraping it. So that's what we want to get off when we when we're when we're doing this. So the, the fish is uh, how do I do it? I just get rub it with my hands. And so um, so what I do is I you know I sometimes I'll just do it in the water like this. It's a mop. Well, yeah. It's when, why don't we let him? Yeah. See? Okay. It's a mop. So All right. you could mop it in the water, or you can take it out on the picnic table and mop it like I did. Right. So basically, you catch the fish, you cut them into a half, mm -hmm. throw them in the salt for a bit to draw out the, the water or the slime. To draw out the water. Okay. Yeah. And then the, the slough stuff comes out from the fish while it's drying. Kind of. That, that layer of slime that's yeah. on fish that's protective when they're alive, it, it just looks yucky. Why, oh, but I bet you, you guys scrubbed it off when you first got them, right? No. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that might be a good thing for us well, to we'll test. Well, we'll initially we'll for you next time. <laughs> yeah, that might be a good thing to test uh, is, yeah, is to remove that slime before we... How, how come, there, how come they haven't done that in, when they, in the a, olden days? I know, that's a they good thing We were waiting for you, Tony. <laughs> yeah. right. You're going to have to do that a little more vigorously, Tony. Oh, I didn't, I didn't want to bruise the flesh. <laughs> So they can take it then. <laughs> In fact, well, let's put it up on the picnic table and, and, and give it a good scrub there. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, where do I go? What's the right table? behind. Yeah, right behind me. There we go. There's a bag underneath that's gonna get. Oh, oh yeah. Oh boy, <laughs> somebody's bag is gonna be really flavorful. Like yeah. this. <laughs> so I just like just leave this on the picnic table. Yeah. It doesn't matter which side is up. Just yep. scrub. Yeah, we want to get that that slub off. All right. Yeah. yeah. So, 
And then what happens after we, we slough this off? Then we're going to put it out on our flake to dry. Well, what's a flake again? A Something on the dock, that's all I know. Well, yeah, this flake that we were standing on out here, when, when it's up high, becomes a flake that we put fish on to dry. Uh, back in the day, they would put spruce boughs on there, and the spruce boughs would help lift the fish up so that oh, they you, would you circulate around it. Drape, it. The, the flat thing just drape over top. Yeah, kind of. And, yeah. and then the sun dries it out. Sun dries it out, the wind circulating around it helps to dry it out. And then from there, we put it back in the salt again? And from there, when we take it in, it would go back in the salt again. That's right. And then uh, you would take it in at night, and then you put it back out in the morning if it was going to be sunny and, and windy or breezy. Well, why do we keep doing that? Why don't we just leave it in the salt after doing it once? No, because um, the, the, the wind and the breeze helps the, to improve the process of drying. It increases the drying. But then when you take it out again from the salt, you have to put it back in the water like we just did? No, once you do a really good cleaning, um, it should get that, that slub off. But if it doesn't do such a good job, like if Leo checks over our job and like he doesn't like it, he may wash it again. <laughs> right. He's particular. Yeah. And um, when they would come and grade fish, they would uh, there would be a, a grade that would go to Europe and a grade that would go to West Indies. And so there would be five grades in between. And um, of course, you wanted to be able to send your uh, best grade fish to Europe. And um, that's what you were always aiming for. So the queen can have the best. 